Hey, this is Len Oliver. Uh, I know a couple of teachers have asked me, is there a cool tool that will allow us to write on uh, PDFs or images or documents and have the students fill those in? Uh, there is one, but Adobe is rather expensive. I found this one called PDF Escape, and it's relatively new to me, and I'm planning on using it myself. I'm just going to give you a little walkthrough to see if it's something that you might be interested in. PDF Escape is actually a website. It's not an app. It's not an extension. However, it has a lot of the tools that will allow you to write on PDFs and pass that information to students so that they can upload it to you. So, for example, I can hit the text button over right here and I can put text onto the screen. When it comes to logging into the site, the first thing you're going to have is that you're going to ask for an upload. Have your document right here, which is the easiest way, and drag it straight into this. It will upload it to the screen. Now, you have some activities over here and tools, such as the text, the whiteout, image, freehand, link, form field, and more. Now, I ha I'm not going to go through all of these, but I am going to show you some of them because there are an extensive amount, and most of them you probably won't need or be needing to use. So the most common ones that are used by people who want to use PDFs are in the insert. You may want to add a little extra bit of text here, okay? Um, such as explain why, period. And again, by highlighting this material beforehand, you can change the size of the font or what type of font that you do want it, if you want it in bold. Another thing is that you can write onto it so that kids are able to understand that you have something important you want them to choose. You can even choose the color if you want it to stand out. Now, the big tool that a lot of teachers are looking for is something that will allow the students to write on that field. So all we need to do is to click on the form field, okay? And we want to choose that we want a text paragraph. Select. And then we draw a box around this information. Okay. We can do the same thing to the one below it. Form field. We'll go with text paragraph. Select and draw a box around all the ones that you want them to have the long bit of information. Now, as you can see, when it comes to all of these tools, you have a checkbox, you have a radio, drop box, list box, submit button, there are a whole host of other things that you're able to fit in there. The other one is your check mark. You may want to have the students have a check mark on the bottom to see if they have finished their work. Okay? Circles, squares. Now, when you go to save this, you'll save like this once, and you can either upload, save it to their site, or you can download. Now this document, once you're downloaded, you'll take this and you'll upload this to your Google Drive. Now, I'm just going to share this with myself so that you're able to see what I see. So here I am on my iPad. I'm going to click open this document that I just emailed myself. And it says, with this form filled out, you can fill in certain things with the forms. So I am able to type in to the areas that I want, but not in the areas below that I didn't. Okay? So I have that ability to edit this document. And then, once I do, save it and send it, if I need to, to my teacher, save it to my hard drive, and then added to Google Classroom a whole bunch of different activities that will make passing stuff in online much easier.
I'm going to take a look at this new email that I have that has the completed form. So as you see, I have this completed form now that's been emailed to me, and it has the stuff written into it. And I'm able to grade that. I'm able to save it into a file. I'm able to give the student the marks that they need. This is Glenn Oliver, signing off. See you again.